I want to ask you a quick question. I wish we had the eyes on this because it, it's, it's relevant right now. But our young boy, Jordan Poole, mm-hmm. what do you think? Uh, you're talking about the season, how how it's been going. What do you think the eyes of him really getting traded? Do you think there's something going on? And if he did get traded to, like, uh, Miami Heat, how would that raise their, their chances of, of elevating and, you know, having a championship year like they always, you know, assume and, and wish for? Yeah, well— it's hard to go from a championship team to a team that's just used to losing yeah. in that culture of it. And yeah. I, we've had those conversations all summer. Are you ready for what you're about to take on? And it's like the ultimate level of maturity in terms of, like, how do you respond to losing every single night? I mean, that's why you got to appreciate the guys like Steph Curry. Right, right. You know, even like the Dame Lillard, the people that can carry it you know, on their back paws mm-hmm. and, like, with mm-hmm. no pressure and literally had a resilience to take on this of what comes with being a franchise, too, because mm-hmm. you're constantly nitpicked whenever you have a bad moment. And it's uh, this new era of youth where they just have these waves. You talk about yeah. a, a lot, yeah, yeah. you know, having that wave. Yeah. Like he's just a wavy dude. Yeah. Like, Kuz has a wave to him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And But Kuz got it at one point. Whenever the Lakers lost, it was Kuz's fault. Yeah, for sure. You're right. You know? Yeah. And, and he kept developing, too. He's, who's the hell of a player right now? And you yeah. just... So the thing with JP is you just got to keep working. The only way to get out of the position that he's in or they, they're they in, you just got to keep working. Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. Like, I don't care if you average eight points for the next month. You, as long as you keep working, you'll eventually get to where you need to be. It's just you have to go through that experience to get out on the other side. Like, you can't drown in it. You can't soak in it. You just embrace it. Like, all right, what's next? Next game. Next game. And I used to remember you, Luau Dang, he, this always stuck with me. He said, that's the beauty of the NBA. You have a bad night, you got a game either tomorrow or the day after that. So I'm just looking to get right back at yeah. it. So you just got to take that approach.